Now that we've inserted a loaded zip sleeve into zip thaw and we verified the active chamber, all you need to do to get the plasma warm to 33 degrees Celsius is to hit OK. Here's an overview of the screens during the thaw cycle. We'll start with the real-time temperature reading. And here's the elapsed time count. You can stop the thaw at any time by clicking stop. You'll see the confirmation menu. We'll click no to keep going. Now is a good time to show you chamber A screen. If you want to add more plasma during a thaw, simply press the chamber A icon and you can start that process of loading zip sleeve, entering data, and thawing. For now, we'll focus on chamber B's thawing cycle. Please note the chamber light is still orange and so is the icon on the screen for chamber B. Okay, we're almost done with the thaw. Here's the temperature at nearly 33 degrees and here's the elapsed time. When the thaw is complete, the icon turns to green, the chamber light turns to green, and an alert sounds. You're now ready to take out the thawed plasma, now at 33 degrees C, and ready for transfusion. 